Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, for those who are still having the Hyperion EOS 0720i Net 380, we have a slight alert for you to upgrade to firmware 5.1. Now for those who are still having 4.7, it is really way back in time, so it is really a good time for you to do the upgrade now through the firmware under the Hyperion suite on the website at hyperion-world.com uh, you can get the, the website address at the description right below uh, the, the display okay now for those who hasn't updated do it now uh, if you if you on the charger you could you should be able to tell a v4.7 right here now this is the version 4.7 uh, this is the old version so it is good time for you to do the 5.1 upgrade uh, the reason is we have a certain feedback from some customers saying that that 4.7 no longer actually balance the cells properly so it is good time for us to do the 5.1 upgrade right now and let me show you what I mean uh, if uh, if I take a 6s packs and do the charging under version 4.7 now I've already hooked up the uh, 3.3 amps, uh, 3,300 milliamps, uh, six cell battery pack onto the charger right here. It is still the 4.7 version. So we're gonna try to charge the 6S pack, and let me show you what I mean. Okay, the confirm is 6S. Let's press start button, and then we go on into the balancing display. Now we can see right here the first cell is 3.89, the second cell is 3.78, followed by 87, 85, 85, 86. Now the first one is picking up really fast. It is not supposed to be the case because we have already checked the very same pack onto the 4 in 1 LiPo monitor balancing and checked that all are actually between uh, 3.85, 86, 85, 86, so on and so forth. So, uh, but on the charger at version 4.7, it's no longer showing almost equal. So, the first two cells is actually way out. So, we will go ahead and update this version to from 4.7 to 5.1. So, we'll be right back. Stay tuned and stay with us. All right, there we have it. Okay. Alright, now we have connected the charger and the laptop together via the USB cable which comes along with the EOS 0720i Net 380 charger uh, during the first day of your purchase. Okay, Make use of this cable and connect the two, the two devices together and run the program. This is the Hyperion EOS Firmware Update Utility version 2.4. Okay, And on the browse column, let's go ahead and browse the correct file. Uh, that's the bin file for your 5.1 version update on the 0720 net 3 ad okay click on this bin file and do a search on your com port now remember when you connect your usb into your computer it should be able to do an auto search on this utility here now it says com 16 okay it detected i add com 16 so what we need to do is to scroll down to com number 16 okay and leave the board rate at 115 200 okay now go back to the charger and turn on the power right here shows a version 4.7 and all you have to do right now after setting up everything and remember to click on the the built-in usb option here for the interface type okay after powering up the charger click onto the program all right it will do some hardware resetting so on so forth and you can see this thing is in motion pc command resetting okay let's give you an idea of what's happening right now all right now it's factory reset version 5.1 initialization there we go this is the new vibe 5.1 version on your charger previously from version 4.7 so up next we're going to try uh, go ahead and try and charge the 6s pack and see how it goes on the, the balancing uh, the values on on each cells stay with us so much so we have done the updating of the firmware to version 5.1 now we're going to verify the voltage balancing voltage on this pack on this uh, monitor here so we're going to plug this in and just check and verify the, the voltage of each cell right here as you can see it's about 3.81 3.801 3.80 okay so we're going to use the same pack and start to charge 
from that charger which we just upgraded to version 5.1 but before that we're gonna on the, the power here okay as we all know that is all fall back to default factory settings so we're going to configure uh, the charging values for the 6s 3300 milliamps for this case lipo okay and then move on to 6s and 3300 milliamps All right okay so very quickly we're going to plug this in right here as well as the uh, the balancer We're going to do the, the normal charging process right now. It's per normal. Start the charging. Battery check. And it confirms six cells. Okay, and then we go on and scroll to the balancing. There we go. So at version 5.1, you should be able to balance it pretty properly right now. Okay, as compared to the previous version 4.7, which you saw. The two first two cells was way out of the balancing. All right, so here we go. This is the firmware update from 4.7 to 5.1. So you guys out there, if you have a 4.7 version, please do the upgrade immediately. Okay, from the firmware, uh, which can be found on Hyperion-World.com. All right, thanks for watching.